Moving on, Mike D'Antoni has been signed as coach <laughs> as the Houston Rockets. Phil, what's one reason why this will actually work? Because miraculously, James Harden will become Steve Nash 2.0, play point guard, and actually involve his teammates. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm lying, of course. Um, I, 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 I have some doubts that this is actually going to work out, only because um, I don't think Harden's going to do that. Um, but I think they're banking on saying, you know what, we have Harden. We see how he's not capable of playing with others. Let's put him in a system where it's all about him. And I really think he's going to play point guard for this team next year. Wow. Uh, Justin, who do you think is going to benefit most on that Rockets roster from this? Um, Dwight Howard, because it's going to get him out of that situation. And I think him <laughs> leaving, going somewhere else, is going to have a big impact on his career. You, you just know he's not going to be playing with Dan Tony again after what they went through together in L.A. Um, so he's gone. Um, Man, it, it's tough to say who's going to benefit. I think James Harden's going to be putting up big numbers. Maybe if you're just looking at raw numbers, he might be in the MVP discussion again. Um, oh, Michael Beasley, have, maybe. Mike Beasley. They have so many roster decisions that you don't know what this team's going to look like next year. So uh, I'm expecting Daryl Morey to kind of go mad scientist there. But I think James Harden's going to put up big, big numbers in the D'Antoni system. Mm -hmm. I think the crux of this all is that James actually buys into whatever D'Antoni's selling. Phil, what do you yeah. think is the crux? Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Honestly, this is one of those things that I think is going to work semi-well if it works out well. And I have no faith that it actually will. I think the team, like, uh, as Justin was alluding to, I don't think the guys involved uh, – I think Monty Hunis has a decent chance in this system as maybe as, as a center and play some shot blockers around him with his passing ability. But I don't think they have the roster to play D'Antoni ball right now. I don't think they have enough outside shooters. I think uh, Daryl Moore is going to have some work cut out for him. So while it's a big name and, yeah, it's change, I, I, I don't think it's the right call. That's just my gut feeling. Right. Justin, in terms of the right call, why didn't D'Antoni work out in L.A. and New York? It was tough. I, I mean, in New York, Carmelo Anthony, he, he just couldn't convince Carmelo Anthony that bully ball was not the best way to play. Uh, while Melo bought in some aspects, uh, that just did not mesh. LA, LA's tough because you, you had Steve Nash there, but he wasn't himself. Yeah, he's and broken Nash was real. Nash was really going to be counted on to make that situation work, to get all of those personalities involved. And when that wasn't there, you just had an old aging roster that never quite clicked. Dwight Howard wasn't being used the way he should. And uh, part of that was also his back injuries. So for a multitude of reasons, it just didn't click. Uh, you need a lot of luck. You, you need perfect timing for things to work out in the NBA, and they just didn't have that. Yeah, and I'm just remember now, D'Antoni was – it basically inherited the assistant coaches of the previous coach. So it wasn't exactly the ideal situation for him to be in. Got to mention Kawhi Leonard, first team all NBA this year, wasn't even an all-star last year. That might be uh, an Ilias historic stat right there.